In this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to fix the problem thread stuck in device driver. This might happen due to the reason that your device driver is probably not working correctly. In that case, right click on the start button and open device manager. I'm going to show you all possible ways by which you can stop this problem. Here, you need to search for device adapters and the you need to update your graphics card drivers double click on them and click on drivers from there click on update driver if you find the problem is still persistent and it continues then you need to then you need to roll back the driver to the previous to the previous version if it was updated from here, you will get this option enabled. If you don't find this option enabled, then you need to insert the disk or the software that came with your laptop or the PC that you're using to install the correct version of the graphics card uh, driver. Now, this problem often happens because your graphics card is totally damaged. When this is the case, then nothing can save you uh in that in such a case what you need to do for example my this graphics card amd radeon 6600m and 6700m series this one is a damaged graphics card and i'm not using this in such a case what you need to do is click on it and click this button that is the disabled device in such a condition the device will get disabled. Now, the problem with Windows is it often reinstalls the device which you are disabling. In such a case, you need to try out another method. Uh, the same thing happened for me. So, what I did is installed a version, the latest version of, I'm going to show you for my graphics card, that is the AMD Radeon uh, 6600M and 6700M series. I went to the web from here. So what I did is I went to the web and searched for my graphics card that is AMD Radeon HD 6630M driver and from the official website I went to the correct version of the driver since Catalyst software suit was not working correctly so I downloaded the beta version of the driver that is the Radeon software crimson edition after downloading, I installed it. So I installed the latest beta version of the graphics adapter or the graphics driver which was released by AMD. That is AMD Crimson for this. Then I went to, I'm going to show you. I went to program files x86 from here md c next this folders and then you need to find out here this application that is basically the md catalyst control center graphic settings from here go to switchable graphics global settings and force power saving graphics in both the cases and for applications also application settings just whenever you get something change it to power saving because whenever you change the graphic settings to power saving Whenever you change anything to power saving, the graphics card which is used for all this purpose is basically the integrated graphics, which is still working correctly. That is this one, the Intel HD 3000 graphics. Many also have this wrong concept that Intel HD no, graphics 3000 is uh, no, no more supported in Windows 10. But as you can see, I'm running 
uh, the May 2004 update of the Windows 10 version. The October update I have not even installed, but this laptop gets the October update since I don't have enough space since the hard drive is no not working correctly i have to install windows on a pen drive therefore i could not sorry i could not get it This is uh, basically the version of Windows 10 that is running here. Here, uh, searching for this option. Yeah. Intel i3, second generation processor, running at 2.1 gigs. The 2004 version of Windows. So it's basically not a problem if you do this. Now, it might happen that you're not able to uh, turn on your computer at, at all because of the problem. In such a case, you need to quickly boot into safe mode, whatever you're entering here. In that case, you need to press shift plus restart in order to enter safe mode. Or if you're not able to do that also, even before that the stop code or the dead screen uh, is showed up, then in such a case, what you need to do is, um, you need to create a bootable device of Windows 10. And from there, you need to, uh, uh, you need to boot into that the bootable device, select the correct configuration, and from there, um, fix or repair your computer, choose that option to get all the advanced settings for booting into safe mode so the final option that remains for you if your graphics card is damaged that is to install a version of uh, your driver or the command center that uh, doesn't cause that uh, the stop code and use the time for entering into the settings of the device and change the device settings to power saving mode so that you don't use the dedicated graphics and only use the um, integrated graphics this should not be a problem for uh, people who are using uh, their desktop computers because the graphics the dedicated graphics card can probably be removed if needed but that is not the case for laptop users so by this method you can disable it permanently uh, windows probably does not have that option for disabling a uh, system permanently because what happened for me is that it constantly got reactivated whenever i put my computer to sleep or something it the graphics card enables itself and install the correct drivers and then it would just show the dead screen so using the command center of your graphics adapter or the drive or of the correct graphics card you can disable it from the application it's itself so as to solve the problem